Y'all, this food was so good. I can't even stop to fix this camera. You have to try this. Now, a little background on what sos gombo is. If you don't already know, I am from Cameroon, Africa. And growing up in an African household, this was a dish that we ate um, pretty regularly, at least on a monthly basis. We would get fresh okra and spend so much time chopping it up, which I do recommend because the fresh okra is better. It creates more of the slime, which just makes the dish hold even better and taste even more fresh, okay? Today, I use frozen okra and a can of tomatoes. If you have the time, please get fresh tomatoes and chop them up yourself. The sauce will taste even more fresh. But if you are short on time and would just like to make this quickly, then do it this way. The process of making your sauce is pretty simple. After frying your onions until they're somewhat soft, you're going to add your blended tomato sauce, which I blended with a quarter of an onion and two scotch bonnet peppers. You can even throw in some green bell peppers that adds a nice flavor to your sauce. But once you do that, you're going to add your sauce and your spices and some water just so that it's not so thick and more sauce-like. You're then going to keep your heat on medium-low heat and just frequently stir the sauce to allow it to cook as you add more water and oil if it gets dry or once it gets dry because it will, especially if you're using a can tomato sauce instead of fresh tomatoes as you see I removed most of my tomato sauce because with this okra stew you really don't need that much tomato you just need some for the base the okra itself will contain a lot of water and slime and add that sauciness and juiciness to our sauce so I went ahead and added more oil and some spices for the okra itself, stirred it up and put a lid on it to allow it to simmer. After about 15 minutes, you'll see that your okra is looking more slimy and sauce-like. So that means we're on the right path. What I did was add more oil to get it to the consistency that I was really looking for and let it cook a little longer and voila here's my sauce now when it comes to the fufu or what we in Cameroon also call couscous a different type made with corn flour we make it this way we let some water boil then bring the heat down and just Mix the flour in gradually as the water is still very hot until the consistency is thick and it holds itself pretty much. But this takes a lot of beating. I'm sure you can do this with a machine, but y'all, this it tastes better when you do it this way. <laughs> Once you've added the right amount of flour that you need for the consistency that you're looking for, this was it for me, you want to work your dough until it is very smooth. So I beat mine for probably about three minutes straight. You just wanna make sure you're removing all the lumps. Once you feel you have worked your dough enough, you just want to allow it to sit on low heat to really just fully cook and 
I like to work mine a little more before I then scoop it out and serve. Giving. <laughs> 